Welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm Jonathan Kaplan, and I'm here to talk about a beautifully made movie with a wonderful lead performance by my movie star uncle Van Heflin. Written by but not credited to Dalton Trumbo and directed by Joe Losey, it was sold at the time as the strangest love story ever filmed. But it has since been recognized as a classic example of a subgenre that the great James Elroy likes to refer to as perv noir. Let's take a look at the trailer for The Prowler. Originally titled The Cost of Living, the subversive story of lust, class, envy, corruption, and murder was shot in 20 days for 750000 Born of a production partnership between John Huston and Sam Spiegel, the juicy co-star role was Huston's farewell gift to his soon-to-be ex-wife, Evelyn Keyes. And she jumped in with both feet. There's real chemistry between her rich, repressed housewife and Heflin's working class on-the-make cop. The elegantly efficient staging gives the stars room to interact naturally in scenes of palpable sexual tension. It is a Joe Rosey movie, after all. And they make the seduction that is key to the story totally believable. While the third lead barely seen in this picture, the radio personality husband drones on in the background, voiced by Trumbo himself as a favor for which the great blacklisted screenwriter was paid a whopping $35 by the notorious Ghanif Spiegel. It's a joy for me watching my uncle being given the freedom to act through behavior in this picture. His little gestures, self-amusements, his ease, and the subtlety with which he plays the complex, deeply bitter loner who has tragically bought into the American delusion that the acquisition of things at any cost will be his salvation. In this noir masterpiece, and many other movies, Van consistently transcends period acting styles. He really listens to his fellow actors, reacting spontaneously with an underplayed naturalism. I remember him talking about working on a show where he was told to enter a car through the passenger door and slide his ass over to the driver's side to save time. He thought it was pretty silly, but he figured out a way to make it work for his character. I decided the poor son of a bitch was in a big goddamned hurry. <laughs> 